just as the U.S. was getting excited about being fully rallied and maybe being able to do something here, we get blasted, lose a man to panic, and just moving these guys up here, and um, <clears throat> get some more wire dropped on us. Oh, so no bueno. All right, let's see. We need a rally card to get rid of the wire. We're sitting ducks here. We don't have rally cards, so okay, we need rally cards. So what can we do? We could discard two, draw up two, right? Um, another option would be to drop smoke on our current position in the wire. That would protect us by giving us a minus one modifier to any incoming fire, which would cancel out, I guess, the wire. And then the woods would still give us a minus two. So instead of being a minus one, we'd be at a minus two. Um, I'm thinking that it's more important right now to get those rally cards. So we're going to discard brush as sort of useless to us right now and discard one of the movement cards. We've got, we've got two others, and both of those are more valuable because one has flank which could be useful, and the other has Ford, which is also useful. Um, you know, actually, instead of discarding the movement card, because we may need a lot of movement coming up, let's discard the woods and the brush. Okay, Discard those, draw up, and German turn. All right, got them on the ropes, it feels like, right? So let's see if we get some fire cards in here. And <laughs> nothing. One of the great things about this game, in my opinion, okay, some people it drives a little crazy, uh, and it depends on what side you're on, but you go through these runs sometimes where all you can really do is discard or try to entrench to get the cards you need. You know, we've got rally cards here that the Americans would love to have, but we got them, um, and we can't do anything with them. So it's a great sort of, I mean, it is kind of luck factor, right? Uh, what could have been an easy, you know, advancement or, uh, you know, a few fire attacks it just doesn't work out the way that you think it would. And adapting to that is a big part of this game. So some people like it, some people don't. I like it. But right now, you know, when the Germans really, you know, could maybe cinch a victory in some ways with a few more fire cards, um, they don't have them. So they got to decide what you're going to do. And one of the things you might decide is card flow. How can I get these cards out of my hand so I can try some others? We don't have anybody to rally. Nobody's shooting at us, so we don't have a conceal. We're not moving, so we can't use our hill. So um, let's discard the building card. And when I say discard, I mean remove from the deck, because that's what you do for the first five here. OK, so buildings are now active. We can now use buildings. Gonna draw up and go back to the Americans. So that last German turn is one where the Americans were on pins and needles, right? They're like, please, please, please don't let them shoot at us. And you can interpret what happened, the Germans not shooting at them in one of two ways. One could be like, yes, they didn't have any fire attacks. The other could be that, oh my gosh, maybe they're waiting for a bigger fire attack because they really want to lay it on. So, you know. Depends. Because they're such vulnerable targets, it's probably a safe assumption that they didn't have a fire attack, but sometimes you never know. Sometimes people are trying to build a hand, you know? <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what we got. Oh, Rally 4, great. Let's throw that one down. So we're going to rally these two guys. And nothing for the group on the wall. Um, they could drop smoke too, and protect them, but well, let's hold on to it and see what happens instead. Got a concealed card in here too, which is nice. I draw up, German turn, still no fire cards. You know, I'm feeling pretty confident. Wow, see, here again, you know, you get sometimes just sitting in a safe spot. 
as a player, you want to act, you know, move guys forward, put on some more power, put on some more pressure. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm thinking of now is let's move, let's move our fire base up. Let's put them on top of a hill. Let's just rain down fire on everyone. You know, we'd be leaving a very entrenched position uh, that's very safe, you know, uh, comfortable. And we're doing fine where we're at, but it's very tempting. So it would also get some cards through our hand, which give us a better chance of of getting um, more fire cards. You know, let's instead of moving our fire base up, putting everybody at risk. They're doing such a good, they're doing their job so well, right? <laughs> this fire base, they're gonna get. A's for the day. <clears throat> Let's instead move up our maneuver group. You know, let's you know we might be able to get to uh, that range shit four and win the game while these guys, while the Americans are having some trouble. Let's give it a shot. All right. So we're gonna play a movement. On these gentlemen here. Increase our range to three. Okay. Oops, this goes over here on top of the woods, sorry. Our hope is to move them into the hill. The other group, we have no, sh no um, fire cards, so we're not going to do anything there. But we are going to try to repair this weapon. And again, the weapon, if we get a zero red or zero through six black, it's repaired, it breaks, and is out of the game on a negative six. So let's do that. Let's see what happens. And a zero, so it is repaired. So let's discard this card. And we are going to change the weapon status here to fixed. All right, we've got our firepower back. Great job, guys. <coughs> And we are going to go back to the American's turn. <clears throat> 